Thank you, my Toastmaster, my fellow Toastmaster, and honorable guest. Jen, his speech is my prompt of my speech. I believe everybody in this room, most of you, remember last year this time, I gave a speech. <laughs> believe it, achieve it. That's right. It was lovely. <laughs> 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 I, I that speech. I illustrated that if you set a goal, use your previous successful experience as a guidance, then you will reach your goal. So at the age 10, I set three goals. First of all, I want to earn my PhD. Second of all, I want to be the greatest inventor in this century. The third goal, I want to be the president. In order to try myself, I did participate in all kinds of student activities. So I was the president for more than 10 organizations throughout those years. Also, I understand, give a great speech is one of the important ingredients to be a president. So I remember, clearly remember this event when I was in the seventh grade. The teacher says, who want to participate in this speech contest? I say, I do. So my teacher says, okay, you go to the library, got material, prepare a speech. Okay, I went to the library. The librarian told me, he told me, he said, Zhong Jin, the easiest way is just use the president, his speech, okay? And add on your voice, hand gestures, facial expression, and so on and so forth. It will be great speech. You need know at that time, Taiwan still under the martial law. Whatever you say, whatever you write, you need to watch carefully. That's a great idea. So I did it. At the contest, I vividly remember. My speech goes so well. I have a hand gesture, facial expression, and voice. Everything goes well until one teacher, he think I'm going to win, I will be the champion. So he take a picture of me, he flashed. Then I look, my sister sitting, the, sitting there and she laughed. Then all of a sudden, I lost my line. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Jen did. I stand there. For oh, one minute, then I bow down, I said, I apologize, I forgot my line. Mm -hmm. I stepped down. So after that experience, I know I must prepare myself everything from the scratch. So I never forget. Even I forgot, then I will remember. Because that's a my speech. So I forgot. So I prepare everything. Then later on, I participate in another contest. You see? I write my speech, I watch my voice, facial expression, hand expression, breath, postures, everything. At that contest, because that's inter school contest, okay? The rule says, because everybody has the same title, to avoid the bias. All the students draw the number. So they pronounce number, you go in from outside, you come in and give a speech and they go. So I wait. And uh, there are several rooms, you know, continue to have uh, all kinds of contests. So I wait, uh, wait outside. My number was draw, I rush in and stay on the stage and I gave a great speech. 
I believe I'm going to win. No question about it, you see. The voice is so perfect. Hand gesture is so perfect. Facial expression, perfect. Everything is perfect. I keep going to <coughs> see there's a girl stand next to the stage. After I finish my speech, I feel everybody have a very funny <laughs> laughing. <laughs> All of a sudden, I realize I feel one minor preparation. This is girls' contest room. <laughs> <laughs>